That stupid clock of Hilda's is driving me. Exactly. Westbridge through the years. Well, clearly very little has happened in Westbridge through the years. In the last two years, that same spot has been a karate school, a nail salon, a yogurt shop, another nail salon, a Chinese restaurant, and a combination Chinese restaurant and nail salon. I've had days like that. You are a day like that. Dream a little dream of me. So we're in episode two, season four, uh, Dream a Little Dream of Me. And while this is the second episode of this season, I feel like this one sets the foundations for the rest of the season much better than the previous episode. We get an introduction to Dreamer who Sabrina is mentoring, and we also get a deeper look at Brad and the fact that he is a witch hunter. Additionally, Hilda buys a clock shop, which becomes a prominent new location that we have for the rest of this season. And that clock shop is one of the most nostalgic feelings for me. As I think I mentioned in my previous video, season 4 was the one that I watched the most when I was younger. It's the one that I remember the most from my childhood. So for me, this one just screams nostalgia and it makes me feel so warm and fuzzy. So Dreamer, I think China Shavers is fantastic in this. The character is really refreshing. It's great to have somebody in Sabrina's life who is a witch, though maybe not at the same level that she's at. It's also great to see Sabrina starting to grow and mature as a person. Not only is she teaching Dreamer, but she's also starting to work out who she wants to be as a person in the mortal realm. She's going in for editor of the yearbook, she's going to be going off to college soon. We start to learn that the academic world is also really important to her and I think it's a great character development for Sabrina. Things get a little bit intense as well when we get Brad. Uh, John Hurt has as brilliant as that character. Uh, Brad I never liked as a character. I never liked him. I never got on board with him. He is our antagonist. I guess that's natural. He does bring a lot out of Sabrina and we do get to see some of the problems that she faces. It's also really interesting to see Hilda and Zelda interacting with Brad or at least being involved in that. I feel like certainly towards the end of the previous season, Hilda and Zelda were not in it as much as I would have liked or when they were in it, they were separate to Sabrina. But in this season and certainly in this episode, they're very closely linked and I, just, I, love, I love that dynamic. Something else we get here which sets us up for a few episodes down the line is the magic clock. I think that's a great way to bring in a new magical element because obviously after three seasons just the pointing of the finger starts to stagnate a little bit so by having a magical clock it's just yet another way of inviting magic into the series and obviously I won't spoil it in case you're watching these as I review them but we get some exciting things happening with that clock and I think this was a, a great introduction for it and Hilda running a clock, clock shop is just brilliant. It's also a great setup to see her as a business owner for what happens with her career in certain series seasons down the line. Again, I won't spoil it, but Hilda and Zelda and this are just golden. I, I have no complaints for this episode. I really like it. I think it really sets us up for a very exciting season and I'm really looking forward to discussing, discussing the rest of season four and I'd love to know what you think of this. I crunched the numbers. We have 84 episodes left. To review I believe. I've been doing this since I think 2010. I was 18 or 19 and if I do one a month, just one a month, not a massive commitment. I haven't actually been doing one a month so far so it's a bigger commitment than what I'm currently doing but if I do one a month and stick to that it will take me seven years. One for every season of Sabrina to finish doing these reviews. I will be 34. I started doing these when I was 18 or 19. It's um, it, it's a big journey, but I've been watching Sabrina since I was seven. And I know a lot of other people love it, even into adulthood. It's a fantastic realm, and I really would love to know what you think of Brad and Dreamer and season four as a whole. And also, if you have a favorite episode of season four. But I have to say, in, in terms of favorite season four episodes, I think Dream a Little Dreamer Me is a pretty strong contender.